Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is set to deliver a new mission for his ministers as a three-day cabinet retreat in Charlottetown gets underway this week. This cabinet is very different from the last one in the House of Commons following a major shuffle in July. Seven of the 38 ministers were replaced, 19 were given new files. The housing affordability crisis will take center stage with a focus on younger Canadians whose lives in recent years have been disrupted by COVID and a lack of affordable housing. All right, let's get into this a little more with Tom Mulcair, CTV News political commentator and former federal NDP leader. Tom, it's great to see you once again. Good to be with you, Tony. Housing, no surprise here, top of the agenda. You know, anecdotally, Tom, I was at a gathering last night with about 20 people, and I have to be honest, at one point, it's all anyone was talking about. If you're a government, though, how do you begin to climb that hill? Well, you've got to start with a clear message, and that's been the problem for the Liberals for the past few months. And it culminated, uh, Tony, as you might recall, just a couple of weeks ago when an unforced error by Trudeau had him actually in front of a microphone in Hamilton saying, well, you know, after all, housing really isn't that much of a responsibility of the federal government. And everybody said, what? You know, this is something that he got elected on for the first time in 2015, that the federal government was going to be playing a far more active and constructive role in housing. So they're going to try to move on from there. He's taken uh, Sean Fraser, who was in charge of immigration. He's put him in charge of housing. He's considered to be a, a fairly good communicator on the English side. Uh, he has he struggles a fair bit uh, when he tries to get his messages across elsewhere. But that being said, Trudeau's biggest problem right now, of course, is that the polls are showing that Poiliev has zeroed in on this and he owns the issue. That's the toughest thing for him. So on the one hand, he says it's not really a federal problem. Now he's got to try to pivot and say, no, we're actually going to take care of it after having said that. He's got a minister who doesn't have too much experience in the area, but is considered pretty good at talking about these issues. Trudeau's great at talking about issues, Tony, but his numbers right now are abysmal. He's not used to being in that territory. Mm. He's not used to being second fiddle. He's behind Poiliev in many respects. And his party, of course, the Liberals, well behind the Conservatives in the polls right now. 